So today I'll be solving a math pass paper. This is 2018 time zone 2 paper 1. Uh, I had this paper when I was preparing for my 2019 exams, but I never really did it because I got too lazy. So, yeah. And in this video, as I solve the problem, I will speak out all the thoughts that I have, all the thoughts that are running through my head as I'm solving it. Okay. So first question. The acute angle between the vectors blah, 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 and this and this is denoted by theta, find cos theta. Okay, I haven't done math since the exams I had in May, so I'm a bit rusty. So if I remember the formula correctly, it's cos theta equals to a dot b over magnitude of a times magnitude of magnitude of b. Um, okay, so a is three minus four minus five, and b is five minus four three. Okay, so then that means dot product of that cos theta equals to 3 minus 4 minus 5 dot 5 minus 4, 3 over the magnitude, which is, which I'll do at the side here, um, magnitude of A equals to square root of 3 squared plus minus 4 squared plus minus 5 squared which equals to square root of uh, 9 plus 16 plus 25 which is 25 plus 75 50 and then square root of B I mean not square root I mean uh, magnitude of B uh, it's the same numbers, so it should also be square root of 50. So then this is square root of 50 over square root of 50. Then dot product cos theta equals to uh, 15 plus 16 minus 15 over root 15. Root 50 times root 50 is 50. 15, 15 cancel out, that's 16 over 50, so cos theta equals to uh, 8 over 25 in simplified terms, or you can rewrite that as cos theta equals to, that's 32, so 0 0.32, doesn't matter. Okay, first question, second question, sketch the graph Sketch the graph y equals to x over 2 plus 1 and y equals to the absolute value of x minus 2 on the following axis. So, okay, I want to solve this one first because I think it's easier. So, um, it's going to pass through the x-intercept here. Then if I put in 4 here, then that's 2, so then I'll just put a point here. If I put in 6, then that's 4, so then that's here. Then if I put in 8, that's 6, so about here. Then if I put in 0, then it's minus 2, but then it's 2 because it's absolute value, so you have to make it positive. Then minus 2 minus 2 that's minus 4 but you make it positive so it's 4 again okay then minus 4 minus 2 that's 6 right okay so we have one of the graphs going like this Then the other graph, if I put 0, then that's just 1. If I put uh, 2, 
that's 2 because this is 2 over 2 is 1 plus 1 is 2 then 4 over 2 is uh, okay this is 3 that should be correct and then 6 3 five, 4 so I think there's an intersect here that's four, uh, 4 plus 1 5 okay then I put in minus 2 that's minus 1 plus 1 which is no. okay so I'm not gonna do any more I'll just try it it's gonna be something like this and then of course you oh okay I would label it y equals to x minus 2 the absolute value and this is y equals to x over 2 plus 1 okay second part solve the equation blah, blah, blah. so then uh, what we can do we can just see this and that's that could be just that could be the answer but then I'll solve this algebraically because why not equals to first we just solve the normal one so what you can do is you can rewrite this as x plus 2 over 2 because x minus 2 then you multiply the 2 to the other side which makes it 2x minus 4 equals to x plus 2 subtract x from here and then add 6 there so 6 equals to x which is the same as this point which is 6 so x equals 6 is one answer the other answer is this point so uh, to get the other answer you make this value negative so then x over 2 plus 1 equals negative x plus 2 this x plus 2 over uh, 2 plus minus x plus 2 and that is um, minus 2x plus 4 equals to x plus 2 and you subtract 2 here so that's 2 and then you add 2x here that's 3x so then x equals to 2 over 3 so this is the other answer and there are only two answers because it only uh, intersects twice this is just nothing yeah. so third question okay it's probability I kind of don't like probability it's really annoying but yeah find okay I haven't done probability in a long time find the value of P okay so then I think if I remember correctly if you add the this row up it should equal 1 so then uh, P cubed plus P Wait, I'll just write it in order. Part A. P plus 0 0.5 minus P plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.125 plus P cubed equals to 1. Okay. So then this P and this P cancel out. Uh, 0 0.25, da, da, da. This is a half plus. Wait, let me write this in fractions so that it's easier. 1 plus. 1 over 4 plus this is 1 over 8 plus p cubed equals to 1 this is going to be my god my fractions is so bad 4 over 8 plus 2 over 8 plus 1 over 8 plus p cubed equals 1 this is 6 7 7 over 8 Use, I'll just subtract it on the other side equals p cubed p cubed equals to 1 over 8 so then p equals to 1 over um how do you call that cube root cube root of 8 which is 2 so then p is 1 over 2 yeah okay part b find the of uh, find the 
Okay, so my video got cut off after like 10 minutes. I'm not sure why. I think my phone can only record like 10 minutes per video or something. So basically in part B, uh, to find the expected value, you just, to find the ex expected value, you just multiply these terms and then just add them, which I did over here. Then to find um, this value where x is greater than the expected value, which is this. Then, yeah, 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 you know, point three seven five. You just uh, so it's greater than one point three seven five when it's like two, three, and four. So then you just do this, and you just write down the values. It's zero point five. So yeah. So next question: Consider the curve y. Cause to blah 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 blah. This thing. Find the x coordinates of the point on the curve when the gradient is zero. Find the x coordinates. Okay, so they want x coordinates when the gradient is zero. So you just, since they're asking for gradient, uh, I need to differentiate y equals to. Wait, I'm thirsty. <laughs> Drink water, it's good for your health. Okay, find the x coordinates of the points on the curve where the gradient is zero. So, the derivative of this, oh my god, this is like something annoying. I don't have a formula sheet on me. Am I just oh wait no I'm I'm trying to complicate things. Never mind. You can just write this as this plus four times x minus four. Yeah. And then when you derive this, you just make this dy by dx equals minus one times one minus so this is the chain rule and then you multiply by the inner derivative which is minus 1 plus okay so this is like one term and then now the other term so you bring that down minus 4 x minus 4 minus 2 the derivative of that is just 1 dy over dx equals to this and this cancels so that's 1 over 1 minus x whole square plus um, now it's going to be minus because of this minus 4 over x minus 4 squared so gradient when it's 0 so you set that equal to 0 then it's 1 over 1 minus x squared and plus equal to you bring that to the other side okay This is just very annoying to do. Uh, so what I would do is bring, multiply this on the other side. X squared equal to four. But you can rewrite this as um, x minus four over one minus x the whole square equal to four, and then square root both sides x minus 4 over 1 minus x equals 2 plus or minus 2 so let's do the positive side first positive side x minus 4 over 1 minus x equals to 2 you multiply this on the other side then you get minus x minus 4 minus 2 minus oh, equals to 2 minus 2x oh my god I'm so sleepy uh, na, 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 na. Okay, that's 3x, just add it to the other side, that's 6, then you get x equals to 2, yeah. Now, doing the negative 2s, equals to negative 2, okay, you get x minus 4 equal to minus 2 plus 2x 
subtract the x on this side you get x equals to you add minus 2 minus 2 so x equals to minus 2 so these are the two x coordinates and they only ask for the x coordinates not the um, not the what, what's that called Coord just not the coordinates just the x coordinates yeah okay fifth question Geometric sequence, blah, 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 blah. Uh, no, 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 no. If I remember correctly, geometric se oh. Geometric sequence formula is like un equals to u1 times r to the power of n minus 1. If I'm correct, not too sure. Yeah, I think it's correct. And then the arithmetic sequence formula is like no, I'll just write uh, I'll just I use a n okay a n equals to a one plus is it plus yeah n minus one d something like that yeah I think this is correct show that uh, is an arithmetic sequence stating its common difference d in terms of r so show this is a arithmetic no i showed a is an arithmetic sequence stating so i have to show this in terms of r okay so then you they said a n equals to log base 2 Absolute value of un. Un. Okay. Um, let's see. Then if I do A1, let's try that log 3U1. So my phone ran out of storage space, so I deleted some videos and transferred some files to my USB here. Yeah. So then basically, what didn't get recorded was I think I'm not sure where it, it stopped recording but I think somewhere here uh, so so I tried plugging in one for this value and then D from what I D the difference the common difference in arithmetic sequence is like the n plus one term minus n term so then I tried that out but then the n plus 1 term, if you put in n plus 1 here, then it's just u n plus 1 minus um, log 2 u n because it's just n equals to d. Using some log rules, you just you can divide this. So you divide this and then u n plus 1 over u n is r, which is the common ratio. So log 2 r equals to d. Yeah. I don't wait, I don't think I'm supposed to write this one like this. It's supposed to be A equals to U one A one plus N minus one D. Okay, so an arithmetic sequence, I guess I try to make an arithmetic sequence with this and this. So I'm guessing a equals to log base 2 u1 plus n minus 1 d, but d is log base 2, so you value of r, maybe something like that. And this is an arithmetic sequence because this is like the first term because you put in 1, 
and you get this and this is still D because I proved it here so this is still an arithmetic sequence so part B um, a particular geometric sequence has u1 equals 3 and something I forgot the formula I think it's u1 over 1 minus r equals to the sum to infinity u1 so then it's 3 over 1 minus r equals to 4 so then 3 equals to 4 minus 4r subtract you put a 4r on this side subtract on this side equals to 1 so r equals 1 by 4 but they want to find the value of oh shit okay okay so okay I'm back on the screen now so then this is the formula so I just plug in the values of um, u1 and something of infinity 4 yeah so I got r equals this r equals 1 by 4 um so finding d I guess I use this I guess I use this so then it's log base 2 1 by 4 equals to d this can be rewritten as log base 2 um, 4 to the power of minus 1 equals to d that's minus log base 2 but 4 can be rewritten as 2 squared d so you can put the 2 down minus 2 log base 2 2 is d but this is like 1 or something it cancels out yep. so then d equals to minus 2 so that should be the answer I think Okay, I think I have time for an, one last question. So, consider the functions f and g defined blah 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 blah. Uh, find the derivative. Uh, I guess I have to use product rule. So then, f of x equals to e to the power of minus x sine x and then the derivative of this would just be product rule u dv plus v du u dv plus v du which is minus e to the power minus <sighs> so then this of if I write this better, it's going to be. Uh, I'll write it like this minus sine x e to the power of minus x, which I can take this out cos x minus sine x. I don't think it's necessary, but I can do it. So this is part A, and then g of x equals to e to the power of minus x cos x and the derivative of this equals to u dv this is minus sine x plus v du v du minus e to the power of minus x which equals to i just write it down here to minus e to the power of minus sine x minus e to the power of minus x cos x um yeah I don't need to rewrite it like that it should be fine so these are the two answers for part A so for part B um, hence or otherwise find the integral of what is this the integral of f of x right this is basically f of x so the same thing as this so let's try an integral from 0 to pi e to the power of minus 
x sin x dx ah, looks very annoying what do I do integration by parts probably so yeah integration by parts um, I'll set g equals to sine x and I said dv equals to e to the power of minus x. The derivative of e. The der derivative of this. I mean, the integral of this is. Should be this. Yeah, it should be this. Yeah, and then du equals to cos x. Oh my god, it's so annoying actually. Minus e to the minus x uh, sine x. uv minus vd. UV, what's the integration by parts for it? I forgot. uv minus. Integral of VDU. Yeah, I think it's VDU. So then minus E to cos X DX. Um, I'll put in the limits when I'm done. Okay, so basically I'm back to need to solve this, but I'll put this on the outside so I'll remove this and I'll just add it here. Basically integration by parts again for this u equals to I'll make u equals cos x. Wait I think no, I think I'll just make u equals minus. Yeah, I just have to minus, so this is still minus. So then du equals to this would be sine x, right? The integral of cos x. Okay, so that was like ten minutes or something, and then my phone stopped recording. But anyways, yeah. So basically, I'm putting the negative back in. Yeah, and then um, dv equals to. I put the negative with the cos, so this is just e to the power of minus x. Minus x v equals to minus e to the power of minus x. U v, which is just um. U v is let's see. That's positive, so it's e to the power of minus x cos x, because the negatives cancel out, and then u v minus vdu integral of vdu what is vdu okay minus e to the power of minus x sine x dx but I'll put the positive on the outside so then it's like this so then basically this is going to be the same as this so if I rewrite all of this it's gonna be uh, I need more space Basically, this integral, this integral from up here, e to the power of minus x sine x equals to this value, uh, minus e to the power of minus x sine x minus this value, minus, um, e to the power of minus x cos x but then minus this minus integral of e to the power of minus x sine x dx 
Okay. So then, if we set this value as something like i, okay, I'll write this here, i equals to integral of e, no, 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 x, x, dx, then this is basic, this entire thing can be like i equal to minus e to the minus x sine x minus e da, 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 minus i because this, this is i and this is i then you can add i on both sides so it's 2i equals to minus e to the power of one sine x minus x cos x then you divide it by 2 so i equals to minus e to the power of minus x sine x minus e to the power all over 2 but then you have to put in the limits I just put limits pi 0 yeah it is really annoying 0 okay wait I need ah wait where should I do this okay I'll do it I'll just do it up here I'll just do it in this space so the integral pi to 0 minus x sine x dx equals to okay i'm gonna plug in i'm just gonna like uh, plug this in so minus e to the minus pi sine pi is zero minus e to the power of minus pi cos pi is minus one divided by two so this is one term minus um plug in zero sine zero minus minus e minus zero S sine zero is just zero also and this is minus e to the minus e, minus zero cos zero is one all over two yeah okay so then this value this is zero so it's gone this and this makes this positive so it's just e to the power of minus pi by two and this is times zero so this is gone and something to the power of zero is just one so then this but then there's a negative here so it's negative one over two it's minus so it equals to e to the power of minus pi by two plus one by two so then you can write this as e to the power of minus pi plus one by two okay wait let me write this somewhere neat like here so then the integral pi zero e to the power da, da, da. sine x dx equals to e to the power of minus e to the power of minus minus pi plus one over two Okay, don't really feel like doing the rest. I'll do the rest in another video. Bye-bye.